So we have more than one program. The program that you're seeing really behind me here at the, the playground is our children's based program. That's a program where we work with children in place of going to school. They gradually decrease their time here and increase their time in the school district with ultimately, if we're doing our jobs, they're no longer here at the center. It is really more of an elementary based program. Uh, so children are really grade one to grade seven. We also have an adult program that's housed in, it, we're in a different building, um, and that particular program is a community inclusion program. So really working on the adults being able to do what they want to do out in the community, whether that be a job, recreational activities, social activities, trying new activities. Those are the kinds of things we work on in that program. Probably the biggest impact is um, our ability to be able to fundraise and some of our fundraisers we had to cancel all together. So uh, we canceled our walk in 2020 completely um, and then we we are looking this year at postponing it. So we will have, we're hoping to have a walk the last week in September. I think that through COVID it has been challenging for people to think of ways to do things differently. And we're all, nonprofits are trying to think of different ways to do things. We can't do things in person. And really it's the people that we're helping, the person that you wanna see. And so that's very difficult, I think, during COVID. I think that we should recognize that lots of families have moved to Kamloops because of the Chris Rose Therapy Center for Autism. So we really are known in the world of autism. Kamloops is known for that. And the center is, is known and renowned for, for the services that we provide. If you look us uh, up on our website, there is a way to donate. People sometimes say, well, it's so, such a small donation, I don't know if it helps. It really does help, and they all add up. And uh, the really important services are speech therapy, or occupational therapy, or music therapy. Those really depend on donations.